Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. April 17, 2020, the FOMO Lives Edition. First up, from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, uh, compliance teams are busy as companies navigate unfamiliar industries and new products in a fast-changing environment due to coronavirus-related production shifts. Companies are shifting operations to make masks, ventilators, and other medical equipment, and that could be taking on new compliance and liability risks. Many companies have retooled their manufacturing process and supply chains to survive the fallout from the pandemic, and other companies are responding to government orders. This has confronted compliance teams with new responsibilities like vetting vendors, distributors, and suppliers to prevent possible sanction violations and spot corruption risks. Compliance is also working to ensure new procedures and products meet federal guidelines governing once unfamiliar industries. You're dealing with a whole host of new people, and you're doing it on a time frame that's extremely expedited. So compliance practitioners, be aware out there. Next up from the Washington Post, thousands of OSHA complaints have been filed against companies for virus workplace safety concerns. Employees told regulators about failures to follow social distancing, lack of protective gear, and issues at scores of U.S. Employ- employers. Of course, the Trump administration wants to do away with OSHA, so it's going to unclear what will happen. Nevertheless, employee complaints offer a snapshot of the fear experienced by U.S. workers compelled to work while the majority have been urged to stay at home. Collectively, the records depict the desperation of the employees, as well as their frustrations with employers who, in their view, were simply unprepared for the pandemic and, at worst, were callously unconcerned with worker safety. Once again, uh, worker safety is not a concern of the Trump administration. Indeed, many Republicans have said that people will die if you go back to work. So, good luck. Uh, Next up, in some good news from the Wall Street Journal, Boeing is to restart jetliner production. The aerospace giant had shut down production in the Seattle area for three weeks due to the severe pandemic located in Washington state. The company will resume limited production of its commercial uh, jetliners, and it also plans to prepare for the restart of its production line for the 737 MAX as it waits regulatory approval for the fixes to the plane. So uh, Boeing um, seems to be moving along uh, without the $60 billion they claim they needed uh, from the U.S. taxpayers. And finally, the ubiquitous FOMO has survived the coronavirus. What is FOMO? Fear of missing out. And it comes from missing out on the coolest tech. Apple released a new iPhone, and people still fear of missing out of having the coolest tool around. So uh, when FOMO survives, it may not be the apocalypse. Nevertheless, um, it is something that uh, businesses need to be cognizant of and when they can sell products which uh, will not only help the economy but help their companies and if people have money to buy new products it indicates that they're going to continue to do so. So I hope that uh, you have not been FOMO'd but if you have been um, I hope you can find a way to get past it. I hope you have checked out my new podcast on compliance and coronavirus that I started uh, to bring sanity and clarity to the compliance practitioner. I am having as diverse a input of stories that I can, uh, from successfully working at home to navigating compliance during the difficult times and a wide variety of others. So check out Compliance and Coronavirus. It uh, comes up. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 9 a.m. on the Compliance Podcast Network. You're staying safe, self-distancing, and isolating during this time. Thank you for listening. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.